Hey guys, Muscle Man. Hey guys! Oh! Super Super Luigi 83! What are you doing back in here? Your door was wide open once again, pal. You mean you did- you mean you went past the deadly toilet dog that could bite your butt by getting in here? He loves me. I'm gonna kill you later. Anyways, yeah, we're gonna play through- well, I'm gonna play through a special childhood game of mine. The only reason why I'm playing through- ah, the iPod's starting to fall. Uh, <laughs> we're gonna play through a special childhood game of mine. Mighty Morphin Power Rangers, the movie, on Super Nintendo. And, uh, yeah, I'm gonna be the one playing through it, and Superstar Luigi83 over here is gonna be in the background just talking. There's co-op, but, you know, I'm only good at the first one. I borrowed it from him a couple times, but, you know, I'm not that good at it just yet. I need yeah. it. I need buy. Yeah, so... Let's get this started here, and if you do anything random in the background again, I am going to strangle you to death. You can trust me with anything. Get over there! Okay. So yeah, we're gonna play the game. Okay, here's the game. And now, we're gonna play through, but first... We gotta just listen to that theme song. But there's Long. no lyrics! Oh, wow. oh, I just love that. I just love that guitar shredding. Just gonna enjoy that theme song for a little bit. It's just amazing. Featuring They've got the power and force that you've never seen before. Don't you ever okay, do that again. Okay, alright, let's get this. Alright, we're gonna do a challenge here. I'm gonna play this game on hard mode. And I'm also... I'm gonna play through the levels without morphing until the boss. Because you have to, man. Yes. So, for the first stage, we're just gonna get Kimberly out of the way here just for the heck of it. I just say no, I didn't pick Kimberly just because she's hot. No, I. No, I've already got a celebrity crush. That is Megan Massacre from both New York Inc. and America's Worst Tattoos. I mean, she... Never heard of them. I mean, well, she is the definition of hot. I can tell you that right now. Definition of hot right there. Never heard of it. Oh! You missed. You missed again, you stupid buddy. You see? You cannot attack the Power Rangers. But she's not a Power Ranger yet. Okay, she's a teen. But you should know, you should know that if teen girls attack you, they're gonna end up slapping you. That's just a joke, by the way. What? Well, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so, let's talk about some stuff while I kick some butt at this game. So, what, what have you been doing lately, Nick, old friend? Well, I just downloaded a shot of light on my Wii U. Very nice. I still need to buy a Wii U. I'm... I'm broke on money right now. I mean, yes, I do have a little bit of money in my wallet, but I don't think 40 bucks is gonna get me a Wii U. Uh, yeah, you know, they're starting to lower price. It's a pretty good price right now, actually. I'm gonna say, they can be able to lower that price around the holiday. What bundle are you getting? Oh, there's a Mario Kart 8 bundle, actually. What is. No, actually, what I'm hoping that they'll do is release, like, a bundle for Smash Bros. 4. If they do, that'd be, like, the best bundle to get. Especially if it's, like, a special. Like we do, like Mash is like on the side. It's like Mario, Bowser. Uh, yeah. You like, know, you know the one thing that I'm finding bullcrap is everybody's talking about how oh Nintendo's having like the financial issues. Um, they do, they do realize that the 3DS and the 2DS are literally printing money machines. Pretty much. The thing is, once Smash Bros. comes out, the Wii, Wii U's gonna sell increase. I would be surprised if Wii U boost in sales from just Mario Kart 8. Well, I mean, Mario Kart 8 looks like a good game. Oh, dude, it's the, it's considered the fastest Mario Kart game yet. Oh, man. How about Rainbow Road? How's that look? It's a space station now. It's a space station? It's, Jeez. It's really cool looking. Jeez, first we go from rainbow block floors to, um, just, you know, rainbow, regular Rainbow Road with the constellations in the background. Then we go to, um... Super Circuit, which is... I never. I only played Super Circuit once. I never played Super Circuit. It's, honestly, it's good. It's good. Although it seems to be like the most visually enhanced Game Boy game. Oh, game yeah. Boy Advance. Well, you know the Game Boy Advance is 32 bit console, right? Oh yeah, it definitely is. I mean, the music on it sounds 32 bit. 
Oh crap. Okay, we're low on health here, so we gotta be they very, very careful. I'm gonna say, we're not speedrunning this. I'm just trying my best effort He's not to die. I would have been dead by now. No, no, really. I would have been. I, I wouldn't be that bad in this game, but, you know. I mean, I'm really good at the first game. I'm really good at my more. Ah. Games. Okay, that was just a screw up. Don't worry. That's just, you know. It happens. It happens. Trust me. This is honestly the hardest Power Rangers game I've ever played. The only yeah. reason why is because comparing with the first Power Rangers game, I mean. Yeah, the first one. The first one came in that's just a difficult game. Well, I mean, just the fact that your health bar is different, I mean, yeah. in the original, you know, your health bar was just, like, you know, a legit health bar. You know what's really weird about this one, though? Hmm. There's no passwords. Yeah, that is a weird thing. There is a code, though. If you hit up, down, left, right, and then X, B, Y, A, then you instantly, you have the game set to where instantly, at the beginning of the stage, you are a power ring. Sure. Yeah, that's just for making it easier. I just prefer doing the whole, you know... I prefer to do it too. I just do it for fun. You know? Yeah, it's just for fun, you know? Something to challenge yourself. Like, this game itself, trying to do this without morphing, is a challenge. Well, somewhat. I mean, people need to realize that back then, games weren't that easy. Nope, they weren't. You know... Power Rangers is, uh, very, very cheesy show. <laughs> yeah, but I mean, if you take a look, at, well, it's somewhat cheesy. There have been dark moments in Power Rangers, like... Not the first series. Oh, no, the first... <laughs> <laughs> no, the first series was Jam all Jamarama! Like... Oh, gosh. But yeah, Jamarama! That YouTube group is funny. We actually set that show, though. Jamarama! Yeah, that's literally what the YouTube poop title was named. I was the Ferris to watch Power Rangers. Just... Yeah, Power Rangers was the best, especially Tommy. Yes, I know that's a little bit obvious that I'm saying, you know, Tommy was the best part oh, of the crap. show, but I mean, like, you know, he's a good ranger. He's appeared in so many. All right, we're at the first boss, Mirror Maniac. Oh, the music for the boss. Oh, yeah. Have you ever heard of the game Wild Guns? Yes. Yeah, it has very similar music like this. I'm pretty sure that it's the same soul. guys. I'm pretty sure it's the same guys who made like did the soundtrack for this. Yeah, but the thing is that game was made by Natsume. Well, I think Natsume helped with this game too. You think? I know Bondi. I, think. I know Bondi was. I watched this guy on YouTube. Well, he's mostly known for being someone named the. <laughs> uh, mostly being. Well, was like, he's mostly known as the LJN Defender. Where he talks about. Like, he defends some old LJN games for the Super. Not for the Super Nintendo. The regular NES. Yeah, you know what's weird? That some of the uh, LJN games. Like, LJN didn't develop those games, they only published those games. People who develop them are just like, what? You know, like, yeah. there's a Beetlejuice game. Okay, and it's not, I don't know, i never really seen it that much, but I know ABGN did a video on it or something. But anyways, that Beetlejuice game was an LGM published game, but it was developed by Rareware. Oh. The That's people literally... who brought you Battletoads, Banjo-Kazooie, Goldeneye, Perfect Dark, yeah. The Connect. Oh, shit. Oh, no, no, no. Okay, so, like, literally... These LJN games that Rareware helped publish were practically the only things bad they've ever released, other than Kinect. And the next one. But here's the thing, though. You know that, like, Rare, the company, like, most of the people who were in the company, weren't even, like, with them anymore? Really? Like, there's, like, a bunch of them. I made a game called Gears... They, they, made, they started a company called Gears for Breakfast. Oh, okay. And, um... They got some of the old developers from Rare, and the guy who did the music, Greg Kirkhope, the guy who did the music for uh, Banjo Kazooie, Perfect Dark, Goldeneye, you know, all that. He did the soundtrack of your childhood. Okay. Thank goodness. But anyways, he he's doing music for that game and everything. And this game is supposed to be like Super Mario 64 and Banjo Kazooie, like blind in a way. It has like Wind Waker style graphics. Ooh. Like you know, it's cel shaded graphics. It looks awesome so far. You know, they're like, and they they're gonna release it on Steam. They hope to have a Wii U version, actually. Nice. So, but of course, there's nothing official about the Wii U version, but they said they, they did mention they want 
have a Wii U release. So who knows when that's going to be. And apparently there's another game coming out called Hex Heroes. It's an indie game. Nice. And uh, Greg Kirkhope's doing the music for that too. But this game's going to feature... It's going to be like a... Uh, it's going to be like... Um, Warcraft. The old Warcraft games. Oh, I see. They're gonna, it's going to be like that. But it's gonna have like special indie game guest characters like Shovel Knight and uh, Maxwell from Mutant Months. And it's gonna have the game grumps in it. Oh, sweet. It's gonna have Eagle Raptor, it's gonna have Ross, it's gonna have Danny. No John Tron, though. So oh. But you know, he's not important right in game grumps anymore. Oh, by the way, I forgot to mention. Uh, I Yes, for stage two, I am using Rocky. The reason why. I think I found a good reason is because, like, with how the enemies are in this stage, how they crawl. Rocky seems to have, like, better, um, attacks for crouch kicking, yeah. and plus his special move that he does with the power meter, he'll literally just, um, move, like, he'll literally just fly across the place. Plus, if you, you can just spam kick his, uh, jump attack, and you'll instantly, you know, kill putties, like, real quick. Yeah. It's about his battle stances and, like, uh... Jason. Jason, you know, like in the first game where he's like dancing practically. <laughs> yeah, it's just, like, it's just like, do the shuffle. Oh, 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 oh. Wait, you do the shuffle. Can you upgrade the missiles back at them? Yeah, you can. Okay. But it doesn't, it doesn't make less putties come back though. Oh, they just keep coming. It's just extra points. Yeah. The difference between normal and hard is that, um, well, first of all, more enemies. But they didn't take the same route. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I thought they were gonna fall apart. Like, dude, what are you doing? <laughs> Easy. That is an epic kick. That was an extra life. Yep. Jeez. I don't think there were extra lives in the first game. No. I don't recall that game. Alright, double. Oh. Oh. You might just not run up or anything now. Yeah, I'm just gonna make myself be invincible. Like, if there are missiles coming at me and I can't go anywhere, just kick. I, I, literally, I literally just destroyed a missile with the kick. Okay. That's what it practically is. Freaking kick! <laughs> yeah, he's like, freaking kick! Only, you know, he doesn't say Yeah, that. yeah, yeah. Yeah, the only reason why we're not saying that is because, you know, we we prefer to keep our videos clean. Also, like... Oh! oh. Jeez. This is the worst that... I, <laughs> well, I mean, this is the second time... This is only the second time that I've done the whole, you know, challenge thing, so... Yeah, but how many times... You beat this several times before, though. Yeah, but I mean, I never did the whole challenge thing. Yeah. So yeah, bear with me. I will die a few times in this game because, you know, hard mode is still brand new for me. Back then, whenever I used to suck at video games as a little kid, I really would always cheat. So I'm still trying to get used to, like, some of these old games. And I'm getting oh, pretty shit. much better at them. Yeah. It's Morphin' Time! Tyrannosaurus! Seriously, imitate him. <laughs> yes. Tyrannosaurus! Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, another difference... Sorry. <laughs> oh, yeah, another specific difference with the difficulties is that, like, the bosses have, um... First of all, the bosses have a higher health, and then First there's the fact do. that they do more... Like, the bosses do more with their attacks. Like, for example, with Cannon Top, the boss I'm fighting right now, um, he would only... Happened. Yeah, he would only shoot three missiles like whenever you were right in front of him he would only shoot three blasts and this one he shoots a whole lot more yeah you gotta watch out for him like you never know where his missiles will land i do like how the bosses do change strategy you know it's it's different than like you know most hard modes where it's just they're just at more health or something you know yeah i like it when they actually change the strategy so <laughs> it's actually a good experience yeah, so that way it's like, oh, there's nothing different here. Yeah. Have you ever, uh... What happened? Have you ever, uh... Have you ever gone to war yet? No, I still need to. Yes, you get... Yes, Internet, you can yell at me later for that, but... I still need to get well, God of War. If you ever played the first God of War... Yeah? If you, if you attempt to challenge it to God, it's good for you. Why? It's it's a it's a bonus mode after you beat the game. I did it just to get a trophy for it. The last challenge is the hardest thing I've ever done. Okay, not really, but you know. Just the like what you have to do. 
you have to go up this elevator by defeating enemies. But these en and the thing is, you can fall off. And the only way to for the elevator to descend is for it to defeat the enemies. The enemies you're facing are the oh, nice. Anyways, the enemies you're facing are the hardest enemies in the game. You have to fight little baby Cerberus dogs, which if you let them transform, they turn into a full uh, freaking Cerberus dog. And then there's these, like, things with these staffs, and they, like, jump around and crap, really hard to hit and stuff. And you gotta fight both of them on the elevator. Now, there were strategies I figured out eventually that got me up there to get that trophy, and it got me costumes for the game, too. But, trust me, if you do the challenge of the gods, be warned. 